Golden State Warriors media returned to President Biden's White House Tuesday after twice burning President Trump where they celebrated winning the NBA title last summer. Good afternoon. Welcome to the White House. Thank you very much. How are you all doing today? Fantastic. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the event. Good afternoon. Welcome to the White House. Good afternoon. How are you all? Welcome to the White House. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, welcome to the White House. Thank you. Good afternoon, welcome to the White House. The Dubs were in D.C. to play the hometown Wizards Monday night at the Capital One Arena before pulling up to the White House Tuesday afternoon to commemorate their fourth championship in eight years. The Warriors beat the Celtics in six games during the 2022 NBA Finals. Of course, it's the first time Steph Curry and the Warriors have been back to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue since Barack Obama was president. The team publicly feuded with Trump after their championships in 2017 and 2018. Despite it being a tradition to go to the White House, the Warriors turned down Trump, refusing to go to the White House. Trump also disinvited the team. Vice President Kamala Harris, a Warriors fan, opened things up, recalling when the team gifted her a custom number 49 jersey in honor of her becoming the 49th Vice President in U.S. history. It gives me immense personal pride as the Vice President of the United States to say Dub Nation is in the house. <laughs> Marla Harris then introduced Potos, who raved about the franchise's success, led by Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, and their head coach, Steve Kerr. But uh, the last couple of years are pretty tough. They struggled in 2020, missed the playoffs in 21, and critics wondered if this team was gone for good as a championship team. But fellas, I know what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. My dad just said, Joe, get up. Just get up and never give up. Heart and hustle. Finishing near the top of Western Congress at the end of the regular season. In the playoffs, defeating Denver, Memphis, and Dallas. And in the finals, beating Boston Celtics for the Warriors' seventh title in franchise history. Thanks, Speaking of Steph Curry, the reigning finals MVP said a few words too before presenting Biden and Harris with a signature number 46 and number 1 Warriors jersey. Curry and Biden stood side by side posing for photos with the jerseys as photographers snap pics of the two as the other players, coaches and executives stood in the background. Uh, we, we brought some gifts for you. Uh, we have two jerseys, uh, a number 46 and a number 49 that we would love to have you a part of Dub Nation forever. And, uh, um, maybe find it maybe on the wall in the Oval Office. In the office. <laughs> that would be, uh, we'll come back. Hopefully we'll be able to come back and check and see if it's up there. But, uh, I want to say again, thank you for letting us, uh, be here to celebrate and for our families, our staff, everybody here on the, on the stage. It means the world. And, uh, hopefully this isn't the last time. So thank you. <laughs> President Biden told the Dubs they are always welcome in the White House. If they hope to come back, the team has some work to do. They are currently sitting in the seventh slot in the Western Conference with an even 22-22 record on the season.